Come June, CHI Health Center Omaha will turn into the hottest swimming pool in the United States. 50 kids, give or take a few, make the Olympics. For the other 1,400 coming to town, this is their Olympic. Big events are big business and it costs a lot to keep away competing bid cities. City organizers promised $3.1 million from donors, sponsors, and taxpayers to keep the event in town. In 2016, we were a $74 million economic impact, and we fully expect to uh, surpass that in 2020. The Omaha Sports Commission says most of the rights fees are coming from tourist-related grants set aside for facilities and major events. The city of Omaha has put in $750,000 over a three-year period. If we're getting donations from the public sector to help out with the rights fee to host this event, it's a great ROI. When you invest $750,000 to get a return of $100 million, I think that's a pretty good investment. Brinker Harding is an Omaha City Council member. He says the amount of national television exposure the event brings can't be quantified in dollars. When you're on national TV prime time for seven nights a week, it's tremendous. On top of the nearly 1,400 swimmers, don't forget about their friends, family, the volunteers, and nearly 300 media members who are all looking to stay in Omaha and spend money while they're in town. The economic impact with, with more hotel rooms, higher rates typically happen through over the years, will be close to $100 million. Roughly four months away, the trials are 98% sold out with 90% of the spectators coming from out of state. They're expecting 28 to 30,000 hotel rooms to be filled for the event. The more eyes that we can put on Omaha and the tremendous things that are happening here, I think is a benefit to the community. Reporting in Omaha, Phil Bergman, 3 News Now.